was Ford, produced at the time and rated at a top speed of 98 miles per hour. No reserve. No reserve. Well, we have a few in a row. You see the turbo behind there. Kawasaki turbo coming up. This is a good price for one of these. CB354. Nine grand. Surely it's met reserve. What do you got? Seven there? Hey, you're out. I got 75 there. We got 75, 8. How much you got? 8 pounds and 85. How much you got? 85? 85? 85? 9? 9,000? 9,000? 9,000? 9,000? Yeah. Got that. 9,000 dollars. 9,500. There you go. 9 grand. 95. 95, high 90, high 100, high 90, 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 ZX750 turbo with a turbocharged four cylinder and two tone. Three pound dollar, four pound dollar bed. Good three, four, five hundred three, four, negative, four, four pounds dollar nine. Five three, four, five hundred four, negative, four, four, negative, negative, four, five hundred four, four pounds dollar nine. Five three, four, five hundred four, negative, four, five hundred four, I think there's two of these this year. A mark on the tank, or is that just dirt? Is it going to get a turbo boost? It's hard to judge the turbos, what they go for, but the Kawasaki is well regarded. Okay. From the Bruce Robinson collection is lot T135, a 1983 Kawasaki KZ1000R2 Superbike replica with only 4,600 miles. Oh, it's a replica. As in, is it a replica? Replica? <laughs> <coughs> It must be a real one. It must be a real Eddie Lawson replica, I guess. Gee, it is. <laughs> you think? Gee, will it make 20? Dearest one of these. That's the dearest one of those I've seen. Well done. Here's Matt. Now offering